Hey, Dan Passarelli here. I want to talk about a couple of trades today, and one of them was brought to my attention by one of our longtime student traders, Dave Stevens. And uh, Dave was looking into this trade here in uh, Alibaba, was the one he mentioned. Take a look down at the bottom of the screen here. 800 Baba, September 23rd, which of course expired the end of this week. 110, 115, 120 put butterflies traded at zero. Wow. Um, can butterflies trade for free for zero? This is kind of a, a strange big trade here in, in Baba, right? So um, when you put on a butterfly... Whatever you pay is the most you can lose, and the butterfly can be worth up to the difference between the wing, one of the wings, and the guts. So it can be worth five dollars. So the risk is zero, and the pro potential profit is five dollars. Now that's what this looks like on the outside. Uh, you might think, who, in their right mind, would ever sell something that could have value to someone for free? Well. What this is most likely is this is market maker to market maker trading. Now, because these expire in, what, three days now, right? Because these, these expire, there's not a whole lot of time for this stock to get up to that guts strike of 115. If you notice, this stock is trading, was trading at $88.56 when this put butterfly was traded, these are way, way, way in the money. Uh, the 110 strike is is almost 25% in the money. That's 20-some percent in the money, right? And so the stock would have to move almost 25, over 25% 25 to get to 115 in just three days. So why would somebody make this trade? Well, probably there's two market makers who... Maybe we're chatting and realized, hey, you know what? We have on opposite positions. I'm long these 110 puts, you're short them. I'm short these 115 puts, you're long them. Uh, now, when we come up to expiration, what market makers love to do is they love to close out the risk. Because although it's very unlikely for Alibaba to rally 25% in you know just a few days here, it could, and this just leaves pin risk, which is the risk of potentially getting assigned, uh, which is the risk of the stock settling right at the strike and not knowing if you're going to be assigned. And that can be a big deal, especially when there's a lot of contracts like this. They also love to get out of margin when they have options that are not really doing them any good because they're so far out of the money. If they get rid of, I mean, this is 3,200 options for each of these market makers, uh, that frees up a lot of margin money so that they can trade more pr potentially profitable things with. And finally, uh, they may have some interest rate obligations, right? Um, they might be, I mean, this butterfly being so far out of the money, they're probably flat uh, stock. They probably don't have much stock against it. But, you know, the, just the more of these 100 delta options that you need to hedge with 100 deltas of stock each, you just want to get them off the table. Now, incidentally, the same thing happened in Morgan Stanley here, as you can see. And again, those are expiring this week. Very, very far in the money. Put butterfly. Somebody's just, two people are just taking some risk off the table. So I thought that was interesting. I wanted to share with you. I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart. Yeah.